What is agency? Um, think about it. Uh, where do you feel like you can make something happen? Like I caught myself making a little mistake there using the word ergo. Um, and I should always be careful with fancy words because you never know, you know, how you're actually going to use them. But anyway, um, I deliberately chose to make that little correction, right? That was an experience of agency. Uh, I'm getting a little thirsty. So I reach for my glass of water, pick it up, drink it. I'm making something happen, right? In effect, I'm a cause rather than an effect. I'm doing to rather than being done to. That's what agency is. And you can see that, whoa, actually agency is a very important resource to grow inside oneself to take care of all of our needs, but certainly arguably the most fundamental need of all, which is for safety. Another way of thinking about agency is that it's the opposite of helplessness. In other words, instead of feeling a sense of futility, entrapment, defeat, nothing I could do, there's a focus on hmm, what I can do. Or to put it kind of metaphorically, thinking about playing pool, do you feel like that eight ball, the one that gets whacked? Or do you feel like the cue ball, the one that's doing the pushing. Or again, to put it a little differently, do you feel like a nail in life, pushed around by forces outside of your control? Or at least in certain regards, do you feel more like a hammer, able to have a certain potency, a certain efficacy, a certain effectiveness or influence, at least in some areas of your life? And this speaks to a very, very important point here, because there are vast areas of life over which we have no influence. It truly is out of our control. I think of this moment of experience and this moment of material object of reality as due to, in effect, 10,000 causes, give or take a few, upstream, over which, uh, most of which we have no influence over many of which were set in motion generations ago, all right? So there is a truth that there's a lot about life that we just don't have any influence over. So it's important to kind of understand that there are, if you will, levels of agency or aspects or domains of agency. There are places where we just don't have agency. Like, I was born male. Um, maybe I could go through a process of changing my gender, but, you know, I can't change the gender at least I started with, right? Um, I don't have any control over that. Um, yeah, I'm born with brown eyes. I uh, don't have any control over that. Uh, my dad's first name is William, known as Bill. Don't know. Don't, can't change that. Mom, Helen, right? Uh, on the other hand, there are things that we do have influence over. And um, I want to be clear here that I'm not in any way, shape, or form trying to suggest trying to suggest that we downplay or minimize or overlook the very difficult, hard things that could be happening to us personally over which we have no influence, nor am I trying to minimize or overlook or sugarcoat many of the terrible things in the world that are happening to people who have no ability, really, no functional capacity whatsoever to make them any better. That said, I think it's always important to look for, and you'll see why a little bit later on, to look for where you do have agency, even if it's only inside your own mind.